While many of the Book of Mormon stories are told and influenced by men, one prominent woman in the Book of Mormon is often overlooked. This woman is called the Daughter of Zion, an abstract and inspiring embodiment of the future glorification of the house of Israel, Jerusalem, and the Nephites. She is described as being in an intimate and covenantal relationship with the Lord. The Daughter of Zion's wickedness is described in terms of causing her shame and mortification, while her righteousness brings about her glory and royal enthronement. She is not only referred to in the Isaiah chapters of 2 Nephi, but also by Jesus in 3 Nephi and by Moroni. In a powerful and inspiring tribute to the Daughter of Zion, Moroni concludes the entire Book of Mormon record by echoing these previous prophecies. While Nephi and Jacob foresaw the destruction of the Nephites in vision, Moroni beheld the actual destruction of his people, and yet his final message expresses radiant hope that the daughter of Zion will one day be enthroned and endowed due to the Book of Mormon's salvific power. Awake and arise from the dust, O Jerusalem, yea, and put on thy beautiful garments, O daughter of Zion, and strengthen thy stakes and enlarge thy borders forever, that thou mayest no more be confounded, that the covenant of the eternal Father which he hath made unto thee, O house of Israel, may be fulfilled. Endowed with beautiful garments of power and glory, the daughter of Zion is the divine feminine manifestation of God's righteous sons and daughters passing through the veil of mortality and entering into the joy, rest, and holiness of the Lord. And now you know why. <laughs>